So a few months ago, Michael Penn made a video on the integral from 0 to 1 plus i of z dz. And he just showed some complex integration and how you can use any sort of path you want on the complex plane to, and, and it'll give you the same result, okay? And so he showed a couple of examples of different paths. He, he could figure like there was like a, a couple piecewise, um, piecewise dependent paths. And then he proved that any path will give you the same result, okay? So what I wanted to do was try some really wacky parameterization. And I was like, okay, what about an exponential parameterization? So instead of having some linear piecewise one, Let's just do some crazy wacky ones. So this is going to be a two-part video. This first part is actually going to be coming up with that par parameterization. And then the second part is going to be on um, actually solving the integral. So that's going to be next week's video. All right. So let's actually begin. So um, I want to figure out some gamma parameterization, gamma of t, um, that's exponential. So it's going to be something like um, gamma of t equals e to the t and then something else. Um, for simplicity, I do want to set gamma of zero equal to zero. I think that's a good starting point. Um, and then from there we can figure out uh, what the ending point is going to be. Okay, So gamma of t equals e to the t um, and then we know that e to the zero is one so I'm just going to say e to the t minus one just so that we can have that. Now the problem with this is that this is a purely, if, if t is a real number, which we want, we want t to be a real number, that's the whole point of the parameterization, this is just purely real. We need some sort of imaginary component to get to that 1 plus i. So we need to figure something out. But how do we do that? Well, let's just think, okay, so we'll need some, I'll say uh, f of t, times i. So this is what we'll need. Um, and let's just figure it out, okay? So gamma of 0 equals 0. Um, so then we know that f of 0 must be equal to 0 based on this, because if this is 0, then this also has to be 0. And so then f of t has to be 0 um, at, at t equals 0. So f of 0 equals 0. Um, and then what we need is um, basically something so that we can just kind of compare the parts. So what we also need is some gamma of alpha, or alpha, alpha is a real number, we need that to be equal to 1 plus i. Okay, so let's see, so gamma of alpha equals e to the alpha um, minus 1 plus f of alpha uh, times i equals 1 plus i. Okay, so this is what we need, and so then we can compare the parts here, so we can see that e to the alpha minus 1 is equal to 1, so that's the real part, and then we also have that f of alpha times i equals i, this 1i, okay? So we have that e to the alpha um, equals 2, we can just add 1 to both sides, and then alpha equals the natural log of 2, okay? Uh, I'm actually not going to write the parentheses every time. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the natural log of 2. And so that, then we know that f of ln 2 times i equals i, which we just divide i on both sides, and we get that f of ln 2 equals 1. Okay, so this is what we have. Um, and so then we can write this as gamma of ln 2, which we determined. Um, this is going to be equal to 1 plus i, where f of ln 2 I mean, it makes sense that it has to equal 1, because otherwise it wouldn't work. Um, so, so this is what we have. So now we need to determine what f is, because all we have is like co coordinate points. We have 0, 0, and ln 2, comma 1. Um, so we need to figure out what f is. Now, technically, it can be any function that passes through these points, so why not just do a linear function? I feel like that's just the easiest, because we already have the exponential here, so it, it, it wouldn't really make sense to do some overly complicated function, because this is already going to be some crazy integral to evaluate anyway. So uh, what we can do is just figure out what the slope is. So, oops, uh, so we have 
uh, uh, we have the change in y, so actually, so f of t, and since it passes through 0, 0, we don't have a y-intercept, so we can just say this is going to be 1 minus 0 over ln of 2 minus 0, and that's just comparing the slopes of these points, times t, and then that evaluates to be f of t equals uh, 1 over ln 2 times t, All right? And that's, that's a pretty, that's actually not that difficult at all. So, uh, what we have in the end is that gamma of t, this is going to be equal to e to the t minus 1, and then plus 1 over ln of 2 times t, and then times i. So let me actually just do it times i t, okay? Because we have that i there, and then the t there, and that's it. So that's our gamma of t. Uh, what we will also need um, is gamma prime of t. Yeah, and that's because uh, dz equals gamma prime of t dt. Um, that's just uh, something we should know for, for this. So gamma prime of t, that's just so e to the t, derivative of that is itself. This constant goes away, and then we're just left with another easy derivative, which is just 1 over ln of 2 times i, because the derivative of t is 1. So just that's our entire gamma prime of t. And then, of course, we have that... Um, let me actually get rid of this here. We also have that gamma of zero. Uh, so gamma of zero equals zero, and then gamma of ln of two equals one plus i. So then from here, instead of going from zero to one plus i of z dz, we're going to have the integral from zero to ln of two of this monstrosity. So we have um, e to the t minus 1 plus 1 over ln 2 times i t. Let me make sure that i is on the top here, i t. And then times gamma prime, so e to the t, it's a weird e, e to the t uh, plus 1 over ln 2 times i, and then dt. Okay, this is what the integral we're, we're going to evaluate. And you might think, okay, let's just do a quick substitution. Uh, let's set u equal to this, and then du equals that, and so then we're done. Uh, but that's just kind of going back to where we started. We want to actually evaluate this completely, because that otherwise that defeats the whole purpose of doing all this anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to come up with the parameterization in this video. Um, that's the integral we're going to evaluate in the next one. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.